By default, Affinity Photo binds multiple tools to the same shortcut key for logical tool groupings. For example, all of the main retouching tools are grouped under the J key. If I press J on the keyboard, the Healing Brush tool will be selected. However, if I already have the Healing Brush tool selected, pressing J will cycle to the Blemish Removal tool. A third press will cycle to the Patch tool. A fourth press will cycle to the Red Eye Removal tool. And a fifth press will cycle to the Inpainting Brush tool. Pressing J once again will return to the beginning of the tool group and reselect the Healing Brush tool. If you select a tool that does not belong to a tool group, you can use the same key to toggle between that tool and your previously selected tool. For example, I can use B to select the Paintbrush tool. And if I press B again, I can now switch back to the Healing Brush tool. Because B is only bound to the Paintbrush tool, I can easily switch back and forth between these two tools. If I now use H to select the View tool, I can press H to toggle back to the Paintbrush tool. This behavior does not work for tool groups. So for example, I can press M to switch to the Rectangular Marquee tool. Continually pressing M will then cycle through the Marquee selection tools. For most workflows, being able to cycle certain tool groups is fine, but you may find the behavior intrusive. If so, you can disable it by going to Preferences. On Windows, you will find Preferences under the Edit menu. Under the Tools section, you will find an option called Use Shift Modifier to Cycle Tools. I can enable this and close the Preferences dialog. Now if I press M, nothing happens. In addition to the shortcut key, I now have to hold Shift in order to cycle the tool groups. So I can do this with the marquee selection tools and also the retouching tools. Pressing J no longer cycles the tools on its own. I have to hold Shift while I press J. So that was a quick overview of tool cycling in Affinity Photo. This behavior is also present in the other Affinity apps, so you can apply the same technique to designer and publisher. Thank you for watching.